Taking guitar lessons should be fun. It should be a friendly, enjoyable, professional experience that you look forward to every week. You know, learning songs and how to use all the left and right hand guitar techniques for playing guitar properly should be really what you should expect, of course, from lessons. And uh, there's, you know, also learning about music theory, rhythm, and how music is notated. Uh, it's all part of the experience. But what happens when you get a bad teacher? Let's say you get an instructor who is only there to take your money, has a really bad attitude, isn't friendly, has little to no professionalism, and who leaves you feeling worse off week after week rather than better. Well, in that case, you've ended up with a guitar teacher from hell. <laughs> and so in this episode of the Guitar Blog Insider, I'm going to discuss this and share a few ideas on what I've discovered over the years about the dreaded guitar teacher from hell. <laughs> Almost every student who starts guitar lessons feels a little nervous about their first several visits. It's natural. But when the student settles in and gets into the pace of the study, the routine of classes and they know what to expect, things smooth out and the learning really begins. However, when you wind up with a guitar teacher from hell, your visits are always uncertain, progress will probably be lacking, and the experience is generally very unproductive until you quit and find a new teacher. You know, guitar teachers from hell will make you feel bad, they're often very unprepared, and they have little to no interest in getting the best material for you to study. Plus, some of them actually enjoy you know, picking at their students, perhaps even ridiculing them, and you know, these are all warning signs to just get away from these types of teachers because there's more than just poor guitar teaching at work. Very likely is some kind of personality issue with these people. There's something wrong with them and their behavior will upset you for a long time, even after you're done with them from the teaching. You know, for most students who begin taking lessons, their guitar teacher is perceived to them as a pretty cool person. I know I always thought that my teachers were pretty right on. I mean, what an amazing job you got. You know, sitting around, hanging out with people, showing them songs on guitar, teaching music theory, you know, how to write songs, jamming, improvising. Geez, you know, from the outside, it sure looks like one cool job. So if you get one of those guitar teachers from hell where it seems okay in the beginning and everything's not bad, but things are going wrong and stuff starts happening and you start wondering, you know, why is this guy doing that or why, why are they doing this you know, in the situation? Uh, I call those the slow, subtle type of guitar teacher from hell. They kind of creep up on you slowly as uh, being kind of, you know, something's wrong. You know, it's going to be pretty hard to spot any warning signs at first, unfortunately. And one of the worst red flags I know that I ever had to deal with was a guitar teacher who wanted to always borrow money off of me. I thought it was kind of a weird situation, but I was just a kid. I was just a teenager. And, you know, this was a long time ago. This guy used to smoke cigarettes. He was like a chain smoker. And he was always smoking. I'd get out of there. I'd just stink like cigarette smoke. He was always bumming money from me for cigarettes. You know, can you give me two bucks or can you give me a dollar can you give me another dollar you know next week can you give me two bucks and this was going on for several weeks after you know a number of weeks went on and I was like kind of giving him money all the time for these you know cigarettes I worked up the courage because you gotta remember I was just a teenager I was just a kid I worked up the courage to finally ask for my money Man, this guy got so upset with me, he denied that I had been loaning him any money. He got angry, he went to his desk and he grabbed a checkbook and he wrote me a check and it was for six bucks. I believe that's what the money was that he did owe me, but uh, he was not friendly about it and it was not a nice situation. And I don't think since then, that was over 30 years ago, I don't think anybody's ever written me a check ever again for six bucks. So it's kind of a unique situation, I suppose. But, you know, as you might have guessed, I quit less after that. Well, there is another category that we might need to call guitar schools from hell. Now, what this involves is more really the place that you've enrolled rather than just the teacher directly. Now, don't worry, these places generally have plenty of uh, guitar teachers from hell lurking, you know, room to room. But it's the school itself that's at the root of the problem with these places. Now, the biggest red flag to these uh, studios and stores are the high teacher turnover. You'll notice that the teacher is usually every four or five months, they're going to be gone and there's some new guy or some new gal, you know, there is going to be taken over. If you're taking lessons with somebody and you like that person, you go there one week and all of a sudden they're gone and there's some new person there. 
it's not great for the interest level and for the motivation level. It's a real downer to lose a teacher. I know I've lost teachers over the years for this exact same situation, you know, when I was young. And it sucks, you know, but the, uh, the big thing with it all is the lack of interest that happens with the teacher themselves. And that translates over to a lack of learning materials for the students. You know, and if there is anything they want to suggest, usually they want to sell it to the student. You know, it's an extra 10 bucks or that book's 30 bucks or that book is $75 or whatever it may be. And maybe there's pressure too to buy guitars if they're in a stu uh, studio that's located next to a music store. Oh, buy this new guitar, check this pedal out, do this, do that. And it's all about generating income for the store rather than the teaching. Now, the studios are most often, their studio rooms, I mean to say, are most often too small. They're kind of stuffy. I've worked in rooms like this many, many years ago before I started my business. They'll, and you know, in this day and age too, they should have internet connection. They should have a computer. There should be a printer in the classroom. Otherwise, very little is going to get accomplished with the student. In this day and age, every studio, I believe, should have a computer, a printer, and have internet access to instantly get the audio and the paperwork you need from off the internet or maybe off of an external drive where you keep, you know, as a teacher, you keep your own charts and so forth. So that means that if you need a song, if you need some chords, if you need some lyrics, if you need a quick tab chart for the student, you can instantly grab that stuff offline and print it out. You can print out your course material and that brings us to a whole other division between the guitar teacher from hell and a really good guitar teacher is guitar handouts. You know, really good teachers will have their own handouts that they've developed over the years of teaching. If they don't, they may choose to use a few independently published books out there, but I still believe from what I've seen over all these years, the good teachers like to customize the material catered to match their own teaching style. That means you've got something that works really well for the teacher that they're very familiar with and it translates over to a very successful class for the student. And it all centers around a teacher who's motivated, who's into what they're doing and they're creating a course. Well, from the information I've run through, you've probably gained some insight insight that the typical guitar teacher from hell doesn't really care much nor do they respect the students feelings or their role in the learning equation uh, nor do they really have much of an interest in caring about the bigger picture which is of course the students long-term learning plan now, most guitar teachers from hell sort of bounce around you know from one studio to another or at worst they're only trying their hand at teaching until they move on to some other job in their life there's no commitment, there's no plan, and there's no dedication to the student's education. So when you're seeking out a teacher, make sure they come across as dedicated. Book an initial meeting. Most teachers will do those at a reduced rate for you. And get a feel for what they're all about. You know, check out their studio, ask questions, ask to see their curriculum. Most importantly, you know, if they lack excellent communication skills, get out of there and find another teacher who communicates well. It's not easy teaching music. It takes a lot of years of training and experience to be able to relate the music ideas well and especially to be able to make the situation of learning a lot of fun so that you know the student walks away with a lot of information that they can work on through the week and then come back and feel like they're actually progressing and there's success that's on the way. Anyhow, I'd be interested in hearing your thoughts on the situation of the guitar teacher from hell in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, thanks for your time, and I'll catch up again next week with you on my other channel for another episode of the Guitar Blog Insider. Hello, I'm Andrew Watson, the founder of Creative Guitar Studio. Creative Guitar is a professional guitar school that I established 25 years ago after I graduated from Hollywood, California's Musicians Institute. After building a successful local school, I decided to branch out to having online courses as well. So back in 2008, I decided to take Creative Guitar onto the internet and offer my guitar methods through both YouTube and on my website. Since then, I've had over 150,000 guitar players from over 100 countries take part in my online courses. And the courses have only become better with the material having grown so much since then. Creative Guitar has become one of the best ways available for guitar players to reach their playing goals. 
So click on the Join Now button below and sign up for your free membership. That free membership will allow you to view all the free members area videos, download certain handouts, watch samples of each course, and also purchase individual products. From there, you can take things a step further by signing up for a basic or premium membership package for as little as $14.95 a month. So click on the Join Now button and start taking advantage of everything the website has to offer.